Well, you know, it's Friday night. You know what time that is. Oh, Operation yeah. football. And playoff time, too. Playoffs. Dave Calabro joins us now. He spent the night in <laughs> Chopper 13 HD. Operation Football on Eyewitness News is brought to you by Reed Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, Ray Skillman Auto Center, and powered by the IHSAA. Are you ready for Operation Football? So light em up. Oh my goodness, look at all the Pike cheerleaders with us. It's Operation Football Week through the playoffs. Thank you, Pike, for being here. The Red Devils hosting a major showdown against the Davis Giants. It's the game of the week. And Pike head coach uh, Derek Moore is not at the game tonight, suspended for this game. The assistant coach is taking over with no problem. First quarter, no score. Here come the Ben Davis Giants. BD quarterback Kyle Castor fakes the handoff to Chris Evans. Then finds him in the flat, wide open. He does the rest, turns on the afterbanners. Ben Davis up 7-0. Still in the first, Castor fires, but this time he's picked up by Pikes. Robert Williams, nice play here. Watch the spin move. He finds a lane to the outside, and this kid is gone. A pick six. Pike wins a thriller over Ben Davis, 34-32. Let's head to North Central. The Panther drum line was ready to rock and roll. Go to the fourth quarter. We had a tie ball game. Warren Central facing a fourth down. Just give the ball to Tyrone Young and get out of the way. He's gone. 52 yards. North Central tries to make a comeback in this ball game. But guess what? The Warriors defense does the rest of this game. Warren Central wins 14-7. Next Friday, they take on Pike. All right, let's jump on board Chopper 13 for the first stop. It's Carmel telling Operation Football Skylights. Let's check out the fall colors on our way to Hamilton County. The Greyhounds up 34-14, but Fishers comes to life. John Williams with a great catch to set up the Tigers. Quarterback Connor Christensen finds Simeon Foster for the TD. Carmel still up by 15. Fisher's driving again, thinking about making it a one possession game. But the Tigers come up short on fourth down. The Carmel defense stands tall, and the Greyhounds win 35 20. We head to Elwood, where the Panthers gave us a warm welcome, complete with signs and shirts. Do you have one of these? This is a limited edition shirt. It's mine. Yes, they made their own. Operation football t-shirts, pretty cool. Let's go! Alexandria gets on the board first. Blaze Kelly for the 7-0 lead. Elwood cranks up the state rushing king. Running back Sammy Morales coming at you. He has over 8,000 career rushing yards. Elwood using their passing game up top to Jared Borp for the quick six. But Alexandria wins this rivalry game. 27-26 as Evan Hodges scores. We head to Tipton just in time to see Lafayette Central Catholic's Joe Smith give the Knights the lead. But on this Halloween night, Superwoman shows up on the Tipton sidelines. Nate Hine turns into Superman. He breaks free, 54 yards. And Tipton knocks off LCC 28-24 on Operation Football Skylights. All right, the fall colors on the near east side attack where Cathedral is hosting Zinesville tonight. Third quarter, game tied at 14. Zinesville quarterback Trevor Lecky rolling out, finding CJ and a Bynum, and he's going to streak towards the end zone. Watch this kid go. CJ's open. 70-yard TD. The Eagles go up 21-14. Fourth quarter, game tied at 21. Cathedral gets the ball back. It's quarterback Colin Barthel connected to Dan Dolan for the TD. The Irish take a 28-21 lead in the fourth. And then two minutes left in the game. Zinesville down by seven and driving. But they're going to be picked off by Austin Compton. Compton motors down the sidelines. 
with a pick six that seals the game. And Cathedral wins 35 21 over Zionsville. Cathedral faces Anderson next week. All right, up next, we're going to announce the five finals for this year's Operation Football Spirit Award. The Pike cheerleaders are ready to cheer for you. And the Southport Cardinals trying to stay undefeated on Operation Football Playoff Time. We'll be right back.